de agua camuela y así. The digs. I think this is uh, what we call uh, Las Casa, Nuestras Casa. See? Si? Nuestras Casa? You're crazy. Okay, oh, si. no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> bueno. Mi. Cama. Cama? La luz. Y también otra cama es aquí. You're mm. crazy. Okay, okay. Si. Sí. Su casa. <laughs> Su cama. <laughs> uh, mi cama es aquí. Aquí? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, guys, welcome. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the program. Welcome back to our Mexican adventure. If you guys have been watching, we did some, Eric did some coos deer hunting in Mexico. And then we went, me, Logan, and Brian went bass fishing in Mexico. And me and Logan are back, you guessed it, in Mexico to do some mule deer and coos deer hunting. I don't know why we do everything in twos now. When we went to Alaska last year, we went fishing and then caribou hunting. We decided to explore Mexico this year and uh, we are doing bass fishing uh, mule deer. So we just showed up, just landed today, um, flew into Hermosillo, drove about an hour and we just showed up to the lodge. And Carlos, our guide, just told me that we have 20 minutes to get ready and then we are going to go look for mule deer. So my tag is good for a cold deer, cold mule deer, which is Anything that's not a big four point typical. Most guys that come down to, mute to Mexico want to kill a 200 inch typical framed mule deer. So I can shoot anything that's like a big two, a big three, a big two by three, a big three by four, I think. And uh, then I can add on a, a coos deer if I see one I want. So I've always wanted to come to Sonora, Mexico to hunt mule deer. Mule deer. I've watched videos since I was a kid about it. And I had a really good opportunity this year through my buddy Chris, the guy who owns Compass West, who we did Adam's hunt with. Um, he knew these guys, he guides for them, and a uh, super good price. And so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go do it. I'm gonna do it this year. So here we are. So let's get ready and go. Is that tied to his finger? Huh? Is that tied to his finger? Yes. <laughs> I heard, Eric told me that uh, he went and did a Mexico hunt and they tie a rope to the driver's finger. And when the guide sees a deer, they pull it and it pulls his finger and he knows how to stop. That's crazy. Okay, introduction. This is Carlos, our guide. Soy Carlos. Aquí andamos cazando sobre un burro. Sí. Un gran burro para mi amigo. Casey. Gigante. Gigante. I feel like I'm in one of those <clears throat> VHS tapes I used to watch about somewhere in Mexico when I was a kid. This is unreal. So, Logan just missed a uh, cow coyote with this giant bear. I am under the assumption that they have a lot of coyotes. We've seen three since we've been down here, and we've only been down here for, I don't know, the last hour. But I'm trying to project in my head what it's gonna look like when we see a giant mule deer running through this stuff, because that's, I, I always try to project what's gonna happen when I think about it. But we haven't seen any deer yet, but eventually we're gonna see a mule deer running through this cactus scrub. It's not scrub, oh God, I don't even know what you call it, but it's gonna happen and then my brain's gonna like, accept that's what we're gonna see for the next six days. This is wild.
Can you still see him? Our American salsa sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have uh, Anaheim peppers and Caribe peppers, sharp broiled, uh, spring onions, serranos, grilled onions, and these two are going to make uh, tatemada salsa. Oh, man, it looks amazing. And this is the beef. We're oh, going to eat carne asada. We're going to eat today tacos. Perfecto. Hey, mucho gusto. It looks amazing. Yes. Thanks. We're in Mexico doing Mex I'm like still trying to wrap my head around it. Hopefully I can wrap my head around it before tomorrow's video because I haven't been able to do it yet. Uh, we hunted mule deer tonight. I shot at a coyote and a rabbit and we saw a mule deer. The mule deer I'm down here to kill basically. Split second. This is gonna be tough to get on film. I'm telling you that now. It's so fast. It's so thick. You roll up on them. You see the deer. The guide see the deer because I can't see the deer. The guide sees the deer and he's like, deer, deer, deer. And I look. It's this is interesting, but it's gonna be fun. Anyway, we're gonna eat amazing tonight, and uh, tomorrow's a new day, and we're gonna go try to do some things. I hope, and this is gonna be tough, Logan can get some deer footage on camera tomorrow. We'll see <laughs> it's so happens. fast. So. Gracias. Yeah, I ate about half of that, man. Uh, we're about to eat some breakfast. Okay. Hold on, sorry. We're about to get one chance. Uh, Buenos dias, guys. We were about to get ready to eat some breakfast. And then it's right back to the high rack. We're gonna go, that deer we saw yesterday, that I saw for that fast, is the deer that we're after. Big three point with inline, so. It's a cold deer, so I can shoot it, so hopefully we see it again. But I've learned that this program down here is you gotta be on your game, you gotta be fast. I'm just worried that Logan's not gonna get any deer footage this whole week. Whoa. Do you guys think he could do any? it? I just don't know, I was saying the kill shot. Like, we saw some things that you were like, where are they? Where are your glasses at, bud? You wanna borrow some? Hey. <laughs> gonna eat my nachos. <laughs> Your binoculars too? Just forgot my bullets and my binoculars. No big deal. Oops. I didn't know today was gonna be that day that we're gonna use bullets. Joe let me know if today's that day, so. <laughs> Did you just do a gang sign? What do you know about gang signs, Logan? I this is that. my gang. <laughs> <laughs> this is what me and my homies do to each other. <laughs> Couple things. I've got my scope turned all the way down to six power. I've got this adjusted to 80 yards or just under 80 yards. Shots are gonna be quick. They're gonna be fast and they're probably gonna be close. So I just told Carlos yesterday, I said, if it's a big management buck that I'm able to shoot, just tell me, shoot and I'll shoot it.
got the gun on a buck. Uh, just a little two by three. Same as the same buck we saw yesterday. Not the big one, but we saw the deer yesterday. But it's good to get the gun set up on them. It's gonna be tough. Like getting a clear shot's gonna be really difficult out here. It's so thick and they like to hang right in that tree line, so it's fun though. I'm worried it's no, they didn't, weren't scared of the truck at all. Carlos told us yesterday that we were way too loud. And that if we would be quiet, the deer wouldn't spook. Because they're used to the trucks driving by. We were driving down the road like last 15, 20 minutes of light and I saw a deer probably 100 yards off the road. I could tell instantly it was a buck. You just tell he was way bigger bodied. He was kind of doing, I like to call it the buck walk this time of year. It wasn't full bird mode, like bird dogging, but his head was up and he was just boom, boom, like he was marching to go, go after some does or something, I don't know. So we jumped out and ran around and I saw him one more time, like right in front of us, like 100 yards. And he was definitely, I think he heard us and was moving away, like not fast, but can catch up to him, dude. This country's tough. I think, oh, we're gonna come up over this rise and see this like opening and see him. There's no rises and very few openings. And the openings you see, almost never see deer in them. Always in the trees. That was uh, the end of day one and a half. Got four and a half more to go. So I'm liking it, man. We're seeing some deer, we're seeing bucks. Um, it is supposed to warm up even more so. I think we'll have two more days of like cold weather in the morning and then hot temps, which isn't great, but take it as they give it to us. Another day just driving around the Sonoran Desert right here in Hermosillo. 
it was a good day. We saw a lot of bucks, we saw a lot of does, but mainly it was uh, it was kind of warm. But uh, definitely we got it we got it done again. We we saw the last one, but we couldn't get to it. As you can see, it's a lot of shoya patch here, a lot of uh, brush that you cannot get through. You know, this is this is how it is around here. It's not easy. These guys, you know, are getting it done and walking around the shoyas. <laughs> This guy just stepped in one, he didn't see that, but he's gonna feel it right now. So, so just another day in the desert. You're the man. Guys, okay, so we just got back to camp. This is the program here at camp. We got food cooking, people are having drinks, sitting by the fire. Um, I guess this happens every once in a while. Wham. Wow. Look at this buck. This thing is awesome. A Hold guy it. we just met last night that's in camp with this Ernie from California just killed that this morning. Good night. It thinks, look how Dude, dark. It's so wild. Look how dark the horns are, even though it's like a desert. It's a cactus, La Choya. This is, this is why people come to Sonora. Giant typicals with really cool genetics. Bladed fronts, um, extras. Backs are a little small, but that front, look at how thick that is. Yeah, the mass Just to get is a crazy. guess of how wide. Look at the pieces, man. Just me and Logan were talking about width. So we'll go outside. So you can actually go the widest spread. I'm saying 28. Logan's saying close to 30. You want to come put the tape on it? Or want to come put the camera on it? Are you right on the money? Three. Just over 28 and a half. Oh, uh, yeah. That thing's a freaking stud, dude. Yeah, okay, rough guess. Just give me your, your rough guess on score. You said low 80? No way more. Joe, 180? Pretty good guess, 180. Which, I mean, it's got maybe two inches of extra, so 180 typical is freaking awesome. Dude, just the character on this buck is mass, how dark he is, bladed eye guards, like giant bases. There's some giant deer down in Sonora, Mexico. That's why people come down here. Thing is freaking awesome, man. Yeah, a stud. The video doesn't give it justice. Here, let me do this. Yeah. Justice served? Justice served. It really is one of the coolest deer I've seen in a while. I think it's giant. It's just super crazy. laid open. Yeah. Kind of folds out. That's Yeah, imagine just that. Just absolute perfect typical, man. Running through the cactus. That's what I was saying. Like, imagine that. Just, just running away from you. Picture it in your head, folks. That's what they do down here. Their heads do this. They're like, la, la, la. There's no worries <laughs> in the world, dude. Just, huh? Duh? Nah, I'm good. La, la, la. <laughs> What they do. That's what I've seen. Ernie's looking over like, what is that guy doing? Put, put my antlers down. That's what Ernie's saying. So we're gonna eat some dinner. Eat some dinner, make a plan. We have a plan. We're chasing two bucks. So I have a cold deer tag, so I can shoot. I can't shoot something like this, big typical frame, four point. But we have a big three point, three point frame that I've heard extras multiple times. Yeah, I that's think, like 48 uh, inches wide. Yeah, it's this wide. <laughs> no, I don't know how wide he is, but he's uh, got, I think three extras sold. And then there's a big, three point that they said it's like 27 inches wide tall and he's smooth he has no extras so we're gonna go after the big three point with extras that will be um numero uno and then the other one with the smooth will be numero dos gracias anyway that's the plan we still have four and a half more days of this eating well eating amazingly well gracias para chefs you can talk to these guys again tonight ask them how they're feeling como fue su dia muy bueno como fue su dia bueno Perfecto. Yeah. Was perfect. A lot of work. A lot of work. Yeah. Your guys' food is amazing. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias.